Oh, la community is Pablo Vasquez. Remember at the beginning of the early stages of Blender 2.90, the stats in the status bar were moved. They were no longer there. They were reshuffled a little bit and put them, some of them, in the 3D viewport where they make more sense. It was part of this design document where uh, the first step was to basically just move them into the viewport. So if you, uh, you can actually try this already in Blender 2.90 and 91 course and it's a overlay you're gonna find them in the overlay settings uh, statistics and it will show up here in the corner it's part of the text uh, info section so these are mode dependent right they have uh, if you are for example in armature mode they're gonna show how many bones you have and it's all um, like context sensitive uh, however, having them in the status bar was not always very natural, especially when you were working on the compositing, for example, where you don't actually care that much about the geometry if you're only doing compositing. Same with the video editing and other areas of Blender, which you run. You were just taking space down there. However, it is important to have these stats there. So um, the second part of this design that was actually a request by uh, the, the community was to have them in both places with extras. So uh, not only you're gonna find the stats here in the viewport, you're also gonna find them here in the um, status bar if you right click and then enable, for example, you can enable scene status, which is gonna bring the status um, the, the same as you had before, plus the memory. This would be exactly the same as it used to be. Memory of your of your system and then plus oh, of this Blender session, plus the, um, the collection, armature, the object, and everything that was there before. With an extra, there is a new uh, um, stats that you can see now, which is video memory usage or vram how it's called so if we um, check for example i have 1.4 gigs of uh, vram used out of the 8 gigs of my graphics cards the one that i have available um, which is something you can see if for example on linux and uh, there is the nvidia x server settings that show you the exam is the same basically it's like 8 gigs and 1.2 gigs in here well plus blender um, so it's um it's the same however it's convenient to have it there so you can see you can uh, before going nuts with uh, many textures or EV shaders or something that take a lot of uh, video RAM on your graphics card uh, keep an eye on that value this uh, setting right here when you uh, save blender or when you quit for example if I enable everything and then I quit blender and then I open it again, they're gonna be saved because this is a user preference. If you go to the preferences with, I, I like to go via F4, the menu, then preferences, and then uh, editors in interface, status bar. You can just toggle them from here so they get saved across your Blender sessions. Very convenient, and uh, yeah, that uh, that was the big that's a big change. I think um, uh, for the time being, this feature as it is, it's uh, it's pretty much there. It's just done. One thing I would like to see in the future, though, is to have maybe more. Uh, now that they're in the viewport, I think the second step would be to make them more context sensitive, even even more. So, for example, if you are in like local mode, you could have only showing the current local um, stats which is not now right now is global um, it just works the same way it used to it used to work here they also show the global because there's no concept of local and global um, in the in the status bar right so uh, yeah a lot of work ahead but um, here we could also <clears throat> my teenage uh, hit my teenage years hit the what what else would you like to see there what what do you think it's a good um, good stats to have there like poly counts or um, points or like objects or maybe you want to script it you know you want a field where you can fill in <laughs> counting whatever um, stats uh, for now it's just one block but you can you could have it much more much bigger much more extended so let me know in the comments what kind of stats are you most looking forward to or which ones do you actually look for maybe it's not even a place for the stats you know calculating stats is a bit expensive because you have it's expensive um, maybe the outliner is a good place for that let me know Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.